What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing Meguiar's M100 and why I like it more than 105. I think this is a much better product. Um, if you watch my video with the last cut, I, I worked in on this side and I'm saving this side for M100. And um, I don't want you to think that they're the same product because M M100 is a lighter blue than the last cut. So um, this is what it comes in. It's about 20 to $22 for 32 ounces, uh, which I think is a fantastic price. That's such a good price. Uh, you're getting a lot of uh, getting a lot of product for your money. Uh, usually something like that would cost uh, you would get 16 ounces. So I always put them in the uh, whenever it's a weird bottle shape. I always put them in the Meguiar's self cleaning uh, self cleaning bottles. Which are great. I like the beer can grip bottles better. And then, of course, I will be using my Rupes 21. I have a new uh, Eurotech foam uh, pad right here. It's maroon, which is a semi-aggressive pad. It does pretty good at removing most defects. And uh, great for one steps. So, as you know, if you watch my other video, I've already prepped the paint and clayed it. Um, I'll show you the, uh, the swirls, and then we'll go ahead and get to this. Alright, so here we are checking the defects. As you see, it's pretty heavy. So, look at that big difference from the last cut. Looks great. Okay, so back to this. So as you see, we'll get as close as we can. Lots of swirls. Looks like maybe a little bird etching or something right here. No big deal. Anyways, so I just wanted to show off this so we can look at the after results. So, why I I would choose M100 over 105 because you get a much better buffing cycle and you get a lot less dust, even though there, there's still some dusting, but it's far, far less. And getting that longer buffing cycle is just a big plus to me. So right here I'm going to prime the pad and then let it work into the pad, heat up the pad. And then I'll go ahead and get to polishing or uh, paint correcting, compounding, whatever you want to call it. Let it work into the pad a little bit more. All right, should be good. I'm a little warmed up. So what what you see me blowing off right now is not really dusting. It's uh, little little particles of the of the foam. I don't know because if it's new or it did the exact same thing when I opened up the uh, the other one. So that's all it is. It's not really dusting. So let's get this. Okay. So here we are with the. Uh, some pea-sized dots, I guess, and then I'll just work right here in this section. You get a better buffing cycle. I think you'll get a better cut. Well, you definitely get a better finish than 105 as well. So I think that's a big, a big uh, a plus on this. So, and I've worked with this a lot of times, so I don't know what took me so long to make a video, but I really do like 100, and uh, I know a lot of people prefer 101 as well, uh, which is a really great compound product but it's also like forty dollars or something for 32 ounces like 40 45 bucks and um, so I, I would just suggest uh, um, I would suggest one uh, 100 just because it's very affordable and you should be able to find it in most places um, like uh, O'Reilly's or something like that or maybe um, Harbor Freight because I know Harbor Freight carries some uh, Meguiar's products
It has gotten a little dusty. Nothing compared to 105 if you ask me. I don't know why people always want to use 105, 205. Maybe because they see Larry, uh, you know, Larry Ammo, uh, Ammo, 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 NYC. I mean, he's a great detailer and he's probably mastered how to use 105. But most guys have not mastered it like he has. But I would prefer M100. And if you watch Matt's videos, Obsessed Garage, when he did uh, the, the sanding videos with like Jason Kilmer and stuff, those guys use M100. There's a reason, it's a great product. I'm not sure if I'd use it as a one step, but it does, I, I think it finishes better, uh, in my opinion, it finishes better than M M105. It's definitely, if you're looking for a Meguiar's product, compound, I would choose M100 over 105 and D300. D300 is uh, really nice too, but I like M100 better. I still have a bottle of D300, I should play with that again. It's been, it's been a minute since I've messed with it to, uh, you know, compare 100 to D300, but I believe 100 is more aggressive. So I'm going to lift up the tape so we have a little before, and I'll show you some of the dusting. Oh yeah, before I pull this sun, I just wanted to show the dusting here. It's, see, it's not too bad, but, I mean, there's still dusting. Alright, so let's see if we can get a little before and after here. See, as you see, I don't know how I'm going to focus on this, but you can see the defects right there. And then, how much better it looks right there. So, there's, there's a big difference. Oh, maybe this will help a little. So, you see... Great product. If you're interested, uh, please visit my store. I, I have almost everything that I carry um, on my store. Uh, I usually don't say, hey, give my videos a thumbs up and subscribe, but hey, if you like this video, please subscribe hit the like button and uh, visit my Amazon store. So I've played with a lot of products and pretty much uh, I, I think um, I only have on there what I what I really like and approve of. So you know, there's really not much, uh, I don't think there's anything that's bad that's on there. That's it. Paint looks so much better. Thanks for watching.